I'm excited. We're going to talk about finding a mentor or expert leader in your industry to help you with branding or help you with your network marketing business. Here's the thing. I feel like there are a lot of people that are out there that are claiming to have had success in either an or. And I'm really going to break down six things that you should look for when you're looking for a mentor. And these are things that I myself did not do. Okay, here's what I know. I myself did not think about these six factors when it came to hiring someone, you know, and, and I really want to help you guys so you don't get screwed like I have, like you don't end up spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars thinking you're going to get these amazing results and then you don't. I had this conversation today. I was on the phone today with a client of mine and I was like, listen, you don't need a website for your brand. There are branding experts, I'm putting my notes down for a second because I just want to get really real with you guys right now. There are branding experts out there that are telling you that when you're just getting started building your personal brand or building a brand for a product or a business or whatever, they're telling you, excuse me, or for a service, especially if you're in network marketing, that you need to spend all this money on a website. And I'm going to share with you guys a story of what I went through when I didn't know any better of how I lost $16,000 in a 10 month period because I was trusting an expert in the industry who was giving me the wrong advice. Here's what I want you to take away from this. You do not need a website to have success. That's first and foremost. You don't need a website to have success, especially with all the free social media platforms that are out there and with other cool things like WordPress and blogging. You don't need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on a website to build your personal brand. That's one thing that I got caught up in. The other thing I want you to take away from this is that content is king and engagement is queen. I have said this over and over again, and I'm going to say it again. I myself in a year period did not have a website and I made hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm being legit and honest with you guys right now. I did not have a website and I made multiple six figures with my brand without a website. Most of you didn't even know I didn't have a website because there's tricks in the trade and there's ways around all that, which I go up and I'm going to be going over in my Heels Up Academy because we're going to be start, start, start talking about blogging and ways that you can utilize affiliate marketing with your blogging. Like there's a whole bunch of cool stuff that we're going to be doing. I'm going to get into my notes in a minute, but I just want you guys to understand you do not need a website in the beginning when you're building your personal brand until you have money coming in. In my opinion, you should not be putting thousands and thousands of dollars out period and a conversation. Okay. So before I get into this goodness, because this is going to be a rant, so it's just going to let you guys know that some of this is going to be ranting, but it's great information for you. And maybe you have team members that are like hiring coach after coach after coach or buying course after course, because they're just not listening to you and they need to hear this information please feel free to share this at any point you feel like you're getting value. You feel like, you know what, Marina is really bringing value on this. All I want you to do is to share this and put share it in the comments so I can thank you personally. So here's the thing, you know, I've actually had great mentors that I've hired. There's been mentors that I haven't even hired that have given me information for free. There has been Angel, thanks for the share. David, thanks for the share. There has been mentors out there that have taken advantage of me. They're not my mentors anymore, but they've taken advantage of me. And there's a lot of that that's out there. And I want you guys to avoid getting taken advantage of. I don't want you guys emptying your bank accounts when you're not finding success in your, you know, in your industry and you just keep buying course after course and you're not getting the results. There's a couple of things that you need to know on why that's happening. Julie, thanks for the share. Okay. So I want to help you guys out with that right now. If you're excited for this information, drop me a high hill in the comments. You know how I love that stuff. I love you too, Julie. I'm so excited to be back in action, pushing myself, just making this happen. Pregnancy, bleh, barf, you know, like getting through this. I'm, I'm so grateful for every single one of you. All of you have been so supportive during this time. So Let's get, I already went through all this. So here we grow. Ready for this? So let's do this. In this episode, I'm going to go over six factors that you must consider when you're choosing a mentor or an expert in your industry. I'm talking network marketing. I'm talking branding. I'm talking sales funnel. I'm talking chatbots. I'm talking all the above. 
You want quality trainings. Quality trainings. Got it? First of all, here's a question. I want to see how many of you have actually been through this before. So how many of you have actually bought a course before with the expectations because the sales page was amazing. Like they were telling you all these testimonials. This girl had like a million dollars that she made in five seconds. I actually saw this the other day. I made $87,000 in one week just working with someone in one week. And I was like, that, there's no way. There's no way, excuse me, that you started brand new from scratch and made $87,000 in one week from one week of training with this guy having no brand. There's no way that's a bunch of BS. Sometimes what happens is on sales pages, it twists the truth. It takes a testimonial and it'll twist it just to fit the content, right? So you have to be careful when you're reading sales pages. I want, this is how I am too. I just want you to know because I've been screwed over so many times. But how many of you bought a course before with the expectations of what the sales page said and then after you've taken the course, you were disappointed because you feel like you did not get the value that was promised. If that's you, I want you to drop a disappoint, put disappointed in the comments before, below. Disappointed in the comments below. And I want you to understand something, like it's okay. I've had it happen quite a few times. I've actually spent thousands and thousands of dollars and been really disappointed to actually find that the information they were selling, I could have found for free on their blog or could have found for free on a free training or a free Facebook live that they did. I don't feel like that's integrity. I feel like that unfortunately is, is, is just crap in this industry that needs to go away. And that's something that I promise I try it all in my hardest not to ever do. I try to give as much value as I possibly can. Oh, yes, I'm seeing it's happened often before. Yeah, right? It like sucks. It's like, wow, I spent like $900 or I spent $1,000 on a course that was supposed to tell me from step one to step 1,000 what to do exactly in my business. And unfortunately, that didn't happen, right? You know, that's why I put a 30-day money-back guarantee on every single like legit every single course that I have except the Heels Up Academy, I have a 30 day money back guarantee on. I mean, I do that for a reason, right? So the story of what branding experts are doing like on websites and etc. we got to be careful of that. Um, you know, we got to really, <laughs> so here's the thing. So I was on the phone today and I was telling a client of mine, like I got sucked in, like sucked into this branding expert that I found on a Facebook group. And when you went to her website, she was like legit. Like she had these testimonials and here's where I made the mistake. I didn't search those testimonials to see what their names were and to see if they were, you know, having success. This was my fault. So I want you guys to avoid that, right? And I didn't know any better. This is back in 2014. I did not know any better, but I wanted to build a personal brand. And I thought you had to have a website. You had to have like all these things, you know, I had to be perfect. Like that's what I just assumed, right? I didn't understand the content piece of it, that if you give really good value, your brand just grows by itself, right? I've said this before. So here we go. I'm sitting with this branding expert. I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself like, okay, this woman knows what she's talking about. Meanwhile, I didn't really pay attention to her social media because at the end of the day, her social media had maybe 10 likes, maybe had a couple comments. Meanwhile, I'm having a lot more success than that, but this woman's going to teach me about branding and branding on social media. Anyway, long story short, over $16,000 was spent, excuse me, in a 10-month period, 10-month period. And to this day, I never made a dollar off of that brand that I built in 2014, 15 and beginning of 2016. Not a dollar was made, but all that money was spent. Why? Sometimes what branding experts will tell you is to do the complete opposite of what I'm going to teach you, where content needs to be the first and foremost thing that you're doing while you're building your personal brand. What you put out there is going to attract people to you. And until you build a tribe, what's the point of having a website? Right? That's like me having a product and having no one to sell it to. It doesn't make sense. So I wanted to help you guys avoid that. So here are the six things I need you to ask yourself, right? Remember, for one year, I had no website. No website. And I made multiple six figures in my brand. Content is king. Engagement with your audience is queen. All of these social media platforms, right? 
All of these social media platforms are free. We have the opportunity to put our stuff out there, to put our teachings out there. Yes, I'm telling you guys, if there's someone you know right now that needs to hear this information, you feel like you're getting some value, you need to share this with them because they're gonna get caught up, right? So here's what I do. Number one, this is the first question you need to ask yourself. What do you need right now? Unfortunately, right, there are mentors that are amazing, but they're not right for you right now, right? That's okay, Julie. You know what? I've learned from it and I'm able to turn around and teach you guys this and share with you when I look for mentors or masterminds to join or anything like that. These are the questions that I ask myself. So this is what I want to help you guys with right now, because I know every single one of you can get into a vulnerable moment where you feel like there's that one person or one mentor that could take your business to the next level and you're willing to give them everything that you have. And I don't want you to feel, I don't want you to feel backed into a corner when you're making these decisions. I want to help you. Okay. So what do you need right now? I had a conversation the other day with someone who wanted to hire me for personal coaching. And I knew that what I teach, they're not ready for. Was I going to just take their money and run? Was I going to just take their money and then try to coach them and say, sorry, you already paid me. It's not my fault. You can't figure it out. No. I said, this is not for you. I have a smaller coaching program that is a group coaching that is less than $40 a month that I think is perfect for you. But I don't think you hiring me for personal coaching right now, Monica, thanks for the share. You're not making more than a thousand, two thousand $2,000 a month in your business. And I don't take on personal coaching clients that aren't making more than that or making that or more. Why? Because what I teach is a different level than what some people what level they're at in their business. And that's okay. I have something else for them for that, right? But unfortunately, there are mentors out there that just want this and they just want to close you hard. They just want to do a hard close on you and they don't really care where you're at in your business. It's about them. So you need to think about what do you need today and right now and not five years from now because some mentors are good for you five years from now and some mentors are going to be the right ones for you right now. Good mentors We'll schedule what's called a discovery call with you, a free 15 to 30 minute call where they see if you guys are a good fit for each other. Okay? You have to see if they're a good fit for you and they need to see if you're a good fit for them. If they're not doing this, if they're not having a discovery call and they're just willing to take your money, that's not a good mentor. That's someone who's just is a cash cow that's just looking to get a dollar off you. Thanks. Number two. What are that, what is the strengths and weaknesses of that mentor? You need to figure out like, hey, what do I see that this mentor is really good at? And is this the type of mentor that I can see myself working with and I'd be proud to share with others? I would be proud if I don't, even if I don't ever get paid for sharing this information, right? I am proud to say that this is someone that I look up to, admire, and I hire. That's, that's what you need to think about. Does this person complement your style, complement the way you work? And if you could have their business, would you be like super excited? To, and are you in alignment with what they do, right? So that's number two. Number three, in that call, when you had that discovery call, right, with that mentor, were you the one talking and they were listening? Or were they the ones selling you hardcore? And I have to tell you, this is what drives me crazy. So I'm in high ticket masterminds. You know, I do masterminds. I do high ticket courses. I go to conferences. I look for, you know, business coaches to work with on a regular basis. But what I, what I found is that the people that try really hard to close me, they turn me off completely. Angela, thanks for the share. They legit turned me off completely. So I had a call. I'm not going to say what mastermind it was I was looking into or anything. It had nothing to do with the network marketing industry. It was for marketing, complete just online marketing. And I really looked up to this person, right? I mean, we're talking 500,000 plus followers on Instagram. We're talking they've built a massive empire. Like I was excited to talk to this woman about her mastermind and when they set up the discovery call, it was a male on the other end. It wasn't actually her. 
Now, you know what? I'm not going to say anything bad about that because I don't, you know what? I, this person's been in the industry longer than me, some marketing. So you know what? I'm not going to, no judgment here. But for me, it was a little thrown off because as a woman, I was excited to work with a woman and all of a sudden a male is calling me for the discovery call. And it was a sales pitch. When I tell you on that call, I was not asked more than two questions, right? I shared that I was pregnant. I shared some of the fears that I had, um, shared about like where I want my business to go next. And, you know, some of the things that I wanted to do to get there. And I was just looking to be in a really good mastermind with great women that just uplift and we could share ideas with like, that's really what I was looking for. And this guy felt like he was going to hard close me and tell me what I was doing wrong. And, and I needed to join this right now. And if I didn't join this right now, when I hung up the call that I was going to, it was going to go from 12,000 to 30,000 overnight and blah, 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 blah. And I stopped him and I was like, listen, bro, like I do this for a living and you're not coming from a good place. It sounds like you're a cash cow. And honestly, I don't think you're representing like this person really, really good. And I'm going to have to let this person know because I don't feel comfortable having a conversation with you because it just doesn't feel right. And I hung up the phone. Like, so you need to understand that when you're on this call with a mentor, are they asking you questions? Are you receiving value from it? Or do you feel like you're just getting sold? If you feel like you're just getting sold, you need to say, ah, that's not going to work because they're just about the money. Okay. So think about it. If I got off the phone right now after having a discovery call, some of you have had discovery calls with me. I told you the personal coaching just wasn't right for you right now, right? I've, I've done that multiple times because I don't just take people's money. Not in it for just taking your money. That's not what this is about for me. I want to create real results, right? So think about that for a second. If I'm on the phone with you and you're not going to get value out of that free conversation that we have, what was the point of even talking to me? Freaking boring. You just, you don't want to get just sold. That's stupid, right? So anyway, I told you I was going to get a little bit heated about this conversation. Hold on. These are real life stories, okay? Number four, man or woman, you need to decide if you can work with a man or work with a woman. Let me explain something to you. If I know me, and I know that when I work with a woman, I have a completely different relationship with that woman. When I'm working with that woman, I look up to that woman. It's just different for me. Like I will thrive working with women. That's just how I roll. That's how it is. That's just, that's just the way it is, right? With a male, you need to decide, am I going to work the same with a male that I do with a female? I'm not saying there's one or right or wrong. I'm saying you need to know what's going to suit you best. Why do I say this? Because for me, I had a block in my head that only males could teach me certain things. That was a block that I had because of the way that I was raised. Just going to go ahead and put it out there. How many of you before have legit had something in your head about the way you were raised and it's come into your real life? Just drop me in the comments. You're like, oh my gosh, yes. Came out in business. I had to reprogram my brain. Let's just keep it real, right? Well, you need to think of that yourself. Like, can I work with a man or can I work with a woman? And does it matter? And if it doesn't matter, good. But if it does matter, you need to make the right decision. Don't just pick mentors because of their names. Little quick hack there. Do not pick mentors because they have a big name in the industry. That means nothing. Absolutely nothing, right? It's quality over quantity. Just want to keep that clear, okay? Number five, have you found value in the free, free content that they put out? The Facebook Lives they do? Oh my gosh, excuse me. The posts that they do, this baby makes me burp. Let's just keep this real, right? Yeah, Italian mother programming, absolutely, Julian. I was raised Catholic, so let's just, let's just put that out there, right? The Italians, you're a mother, you're a woman, you're raised Catholic. I mean, come on, can we just keep this here, right? So anyway, so the free content that they put out, like when you find that content, does it challenge you? Can, have you created some results just from the resources or just from the advice that they've given? Or are they only giving just a little bit because they want to rope you in to give you more information when you pay them, right? I've been in courses before that I've purchased and I've just like shook my head. I'm like, 
maybe now too, because I actually have courses and I actually have trainings and masterminds and coachings and all that. Maybe I just look at it differently, but like, I just look at content sometimes and I'm like, how can your sales page say this? And then when I actually open the course, this is what I got. It just makes me so upset. I don't even return stuff because I just, I can't even, I can't even deal with it. I am that person, by the way, that buys stuff and does not return it. And then I see it later on with a tag and I go give it to my mother-in-law. And I'm like, hey, can you return this for me? Because I'm lazy. Just, just wanted to keep that real real quick. I even have shoes that don't fit me in my closet, my high heels. Yeah, that don't fit me that I need to get rid of. Um, I wear a size eight and a half if you're wondering. Anyway, I should probably do like a little thing for now. But anyway. So the free content that you're finding, is it helpful? Is it valuable? Are you finding results with the information that I'm giving you for free? If you right now can say from Marina, from your free Facebook lives, from your free trainings, your free training group, your free blogs, your free YouTube videos, something that I've done for free. If you have found results, my SOS tracker, the downloads that I give, if you have gotten value from me in some way, will you do me a favor? And can you drop value in the comments below so I can know how much value you've gotten from me, okay? So number six, lastly, I personally, what I do now is I personally will reach out to testimonials that are on their website, right? And I will ask specific questions of results they've gotten, right? Because why? I want to look at reviews on business pages. I want to do my homework because before I drop hundreds or even thousands of dollars, I want to make sure that I did my due diligence. Because in the online world, somebody can look like they have millions of dollars and they own a jet. And at the end of the day, all they did was rent the jet so they could stand in front of it and take pictures. And I promise you in South Florida, it's done all the time, all the time. So I want you guys to be careful when you have these Instagram experts teaching you about Instagram or Facebook experts teaching you about Facebook or, you know, these experts in, in branding that are like, oh my gosh, I'm going to build your logo and your website and your branding colors and this and that, and it's going to cost 10 grand. You better hang up on those humans. Until you get to a level where you've built a massive tribe and it's time to rebrand to get your color schemes right and all that jazz, you that none of that matters when you're putting out fire content. Drop fire content in the comments below if you agree with me. I'm also spitting on you and giving you a virtual shower because that's how excited I am. Yes, and if before you ask about the lipstick, I got it at Walgreens. I don't know. It's probably L'Oreal or something, okay? So here's what I want you all to know. I love and care about each and every one of you. And I just want you to know, like, I don't want you to get caught in the same trap. And in, in fact, there was a mentor that I used to look up to that unfortunately just kind of has rubbed me the wrong way recently. And I just, it sucks. You know, it sucks when you look up to someone and you think that that person is, is something completely different than they are. And, and I didn't do my due diligence. So I want you all to do your due diligence and do your homework before you start implementing things that you're learning from people that you don't really know or that you've heard about from one person, right? So I just want you guys, I want to protect you as much as I can because I've been there and it sucks, right? It's just the worst feeling in the world and it just puts us all in a crappy place. So as always, if you found like you got some value from this, you know, go ahead and share this, drop share it in the comments so I can come back and say thank you. 